I bid you welcome or a welcome back. Among the many serious projects, I just wanted to make something more lighthearted and goofy. And some time ago, I made a bunch of uh, animal pieces, mostly for commissions. I'm talking about like 2021 and 22. I haven't done any in a while, so I wanted to practice making some animal pieces. I would say that my favorite animals to paint were always cats. I just feel that cats convey a lot of emotion and putting uh, like human characteristics into cats is something that I was a little bit better at than doing it with other animals. Also I find them easier to paint than dogs because of the more human-like face. And I also want to include my favorite animal which is the bat. So I want to paint a cat and a bat together and it's gonna be a black cat posing as uh, Dracula. Yes I'm doing some Dracula piece once again and I want this cat to have a bad companion and I have a few ideas I'm not sure how far I will get to today before going to bed but I want to start with a few thumbnails and I want to try out a few little things with the little cat and the little bat together and then we will see where it all goes I want a mostly monochromatic almost black and white piece but the cat is going to have red eyes and maybe the bat is going to have like trans translucent things and like a few little colors like cute and goofy piece than the stuff that I've been making lately. So let's get into it and do our random little cat bat thingy. I started the process with the thing I always plan to start with and I always skip doing some thumbnails. I started out with the 4x5 ratio which is what I use almost all the time and I did it with the portrait mode to show as much of the half body character as possible but still making him appear uh, big on the picture. My main goal at first was figuring out a version where the bat is flying above the cat either following him or being startled by the cat who is coming up with a lit candle and I also tried making one of those bigger candles candle holders that hold multiple candles. But of course the thing you were not expecting is coming to get you, like today's sponsor. Okay, no, I'm just joking. I just realized I don't do enough scripted jokes and my viewer retention is going to pull off a Nosferatu at the end of the movie. What I was referring to is I ended up improving on one of the throwaway thumbnails where the bat is hanging from the walking cane. I ended up flipping the canvas to the side, then changing the ratio to this so no social media sites will have the chance to showcase my piece properly also to fit the bat nicely into the composition okay this is what we have so far i went with this annoying bat companion version of the two characters and uh, like the main thing on the piece is going to be the interaction and especially the facial expression of the cat you know being annoyed by the by the bat who's trying to tell him what to do or or something along those lines or maybe the bat is uh, giving out some information about the cat vampire hunters who are heading towards their castle and is being really jokey about it and is not taking it seriously enough how is it that the cat is holding the walking cane exactly this way but that's a question i can't really answer just yet but my main concern was really the shapes of the two characters and the interaction between them the previous versions were these uh, standing pieces which has the bat flying around somewhere and then there was this one where i included the bat hanging from the end of the walking cane but i really find these hanging bats uh, quite boring i made a few of them before they are like eh, kind of just a mess especially if there's just one of them they are not interesting but in exchange they are not so easy to make properly and then i tried out okay what is gonna happen if i flip to this picture to the side and i spread the wings of the bat because you couldn't quite squish the bat with the open wings onto this picture without either cutting off the wings or moving the character really far from the viewer so i went with these ones and i had this idea that okay what if uh, the cat is holding uh, the candle holder like underneath the bat but i much prefer 
preferred this version when he's just holding the candle in front of him. You know, it's like not like an open communication between them because the cat is uh, showing his back towards the bed and just turns around to talk to it. Makes the main character feel a little bit more arrogant. And obviously after I add some extra base colors because as I only added this, this almost black blue color first, then we will see how we can address the lights. But I, I really like this version. We will see then how we can address the lights. There will be this main light source that lights up both characters. It also makes the cat vampire, I will just call him Catula. It makes Catula look much more menacing with the light coming from the bottom. And then I will just come up with a really simple background like a cave that is uh, below the castle. So there will be a lot of those uh, those those things that I will write on the screen now, we will figure it out. So let's continue with this space. The colors almost entirely relied on one single light source, which is the candle. I added some overall ambient light to the little cave of course, so it's not pitch black. Then later I added some blue skylight seeping into the cave from behind the cat, both adding a nice little blue rim light and also just creating a brighter spot that brings the character out much more. Speaking of the characters, I of of course modeled the cat after Dracula from the 1933 version and the thing with the eyebrows and the entire expression on the face came from this picture of Bela Lugosi and the outfit was also based on this version. The bat on the other hand was based on the regular bats from planet Earth, the insect eating ones that have a proper name I just never remember it and it's so much funnier to write that into the script instead of looking it up. What I really wanted to do with the bat is make it lean forward so not just hanging from the cane so we actually see that there's a conversation going on between the two. Okay check this out. In the span of uh, barely more than one hour I went from here to here. There we go. That's like, you know, the most satisfying part of the process many times when you just add the base colors, add the basic shading, just add the basic background that was literally like 10 minutes and then you just go from like a half okay-ish sketch into something that, you know, many people would call a finished thing. Obviously, this arm is really broken. I want to uh, fix that. I will try this now. I'm going to give myself a one hour plus maybe a few minutes if it's needed to render this. I won't touch the background. I think I just want to go and finish the characters, both of them. Limit myself with the rendering this time. So, oh, wait, I wanted one other thing. Some nice translucency to the ears of the cat and some translucency extra translucency beyond what we have here to the wings of the bat it's too red something more like this less red less saturated yeah something like that i wonder what are other things that i'm forgetting right now also i should add a terminator to this thing i didn't even want this Ball to be metal. Also, I just realized that that is the longest walking cane ever. It's like, okay, wait, let me check it really quick. So this is one head. Okay, that's one head, two heads, three heads, four heads and a little. How, how long is a walking cane? Man with walking cane. Okay, I just tried to Google man with walking cane and then the autocomplete says man with walking cane arrested. I don't want to click on that. Okay, so the walking cane, it should reach barely beyond the crotch, which is about the size I have. One, two, three, four, pretty much. It still looks weird. You know, it's gonna end, end around here. Give it like a proper handle because how is the cat gonna hold it if it doesn't have a proper handle or maybe i will add a like little knob with like a paw print or something i always do that i always uh, put some paw print on my animal pieces and of the walking cane is gonna be somewhere like here so it doesn't look like comically huge yeah that looks more appropriate okay um 
tangent over. There's not much going on about the rendering. I ended up working on it for about an hour and a half in the end. Most importantly, I fixed up the messiest parts of the character, still leaving in some artifacts that then I can claim I left them there for artistic purposes, of course. One thing I used for the fur was a smudging brush that I saw in uh, one of Gabby T's videos. It's really just a round brush uh, with a little bit of texture, since it uses one of the default uh, watercolor brush tips from Krita, plus a bit of pressure sensitivity, and it can really nicely pull up few pixels to make them look like fur. All you really need is a somewhat rendered base, and you are good to go with it. I'll link her channel in the description if you want to check it out. In the end, I did some fixes, like cutting out and repositioning the eyes to properly look at the bat, but it was about all I did for this quick practice piece. There we go. Lamp. Not so much lamp. Other lamp. There we go. <laughs> I finished this a few days ago. I've been just procrastinating on doing this exact recording. So that's why the video is late. Also, like three days ago, I decided to quit drinking caffeine and... Uh, like the 24 hour mark was like nothing. I was just, <laughs> this is, this is, this is cool. This is fine. And then the 48 hour mark arrived and I didn't even know what planet I was at. Venus. So it's like the combination of these two is why this video is so late. So what this picture isn't, it is not the most detailed and masterfully executed piece that I'm always chasing and then, you know, I cannot ever reach it. And at the same time, I didn't uh, waste a bunch of time and energy trying to turn it into that imaginary goal that I have in my head. I wanted to squish everything out from this piece that I could in the little time that I gave myself. I'm pretty sure that making this picture took me about as much as editing the video, like five hours, or maybe or maybe the editing took a little shorter, like three or four hours. My favorite part is definitely the expressions and the readable interaction between the two characters, alongside with the entire composition, how the light sources complement the characters, how they are placed into the composition and all that. We have the light effects nicely fleshed out. We have some fancy fur that is functioning as some eye candy for the viewers. But one important thing is I made a quick project that was fun and I hope that it was fun to watch the video of it. Lately, I slipped into creating all these really, really long videos that not even the fanatics such as myself are going to watch. I mean, I will still make many of those. I just wanted to sprinkle in some of these smaller scale, nice, cozy, fun projects. My prediction is uh, having a few of these is necessary for having a healthy channel. So this is definitely not the last picture like this that I made. Also practicing a few animals was uh, also really nice. But I thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day. Create something even if you already made 99 Dracula pieces and this one is gonna be your 100th. But most importantly, don't forget to have fun while doing that. Farewell. Oh yes, I messed up the last video and I totally destroyed the retention rate of it because of an accident. I explained it in a short video. What I did was I recut it a little bit. I changed a bit how it starts. I fixed a bunch of mistakes that I did during the editing and I will upload it soon. I want to wait like two or three days so YouTube is not going to freak out. So if you haven't seen it but you want to, then please wait for that version. I already unlisted the current one, so it's not going to interfere with this video, with the cat uh, bat video. So if you missed that one, it is coming soon and I just need to render and upload it. But that's it and well of the fair kind. Just makes the main character makes the main character feel a little makes the main character feel a little bit more arrogant. <laughs>